Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you for tuning in to the 2000 subscriber giveaway video. This video is made in uh, my appreciation to each and every one of you. For the, uh, the, the support over the last few months. How you guys all doing? Hey Edward, what's happening? So I took a poll earlier a few hours ago. What we're going to open up uh, in tonight's video. And... Um, not too astonishingly, um, 88 Fleer was voted out, so toss it up to the side here. That's out of here now, so let's focus on the four Fairfield boxes that we have here. Uh, I picked these up the other day. Two of them are from Red Aid, and the other two are from Walgreens. We're going to do two of those, and then... Uh, we will go into this giveaway, so stick around for that. Um, I guess I'll randomly choose this one. Hope you guys all had a good day back to uh, work and school today. I'm going to dive right into these now. This the first time I've done a Fairfield box, I think, on my channel. Right off the bat, we have a Cole Hamels. Maybe justice here. Oh yeah, today was President's Day, huh? Forgot about that, because post office was closed. I wanted to stop by there earlier. Unfortunately, I had to go to work today. Gotta love the massive stack of commons in Fairfield boxes. I wanna try to find a uh, Griffey Rookie and some other ones. Hey, my girlfriend's tuning in. Hey, Brittany. There's a nice Ryan Sandberg. Post serial card, 1991. Edgar Martinez, new to the Hall of Fame, 91 score. I'd like to find a Griffey uh, 89 Fleer. I saw someone pulled that recently. Um, maybe even Bryce Harper rookie would be pretty sweet. Although I really don't collect too many uh, new cards. My cutoff is pretty much the year 2000 for collecting cards. I want to rip a few of these open and uh, show my appreciation to all you guys. Never thought that I would get uh, anywhere close to 2,000 subs. Love making videos for you guys. I'm glad that you enjoy them in return. Ian Kinsler. And I figured we were getting one of these. And This is like 87 or 88 um, yeah, pop-up cards. Five cards per pack. I think we should open these up. What do you guys say? Yes, no? Yeah, might as well. A few of these sitting around. Thanks a lot, Edward. I appreciate it. There's a Wade Boggs in the back. I try and do a nice mixture between toys and cards. Those are both uh, big parts of my childhood and still are today. The puzzle piece, Stan Musial's face right there. And the pop up is Davy Johnson man manager card. Uh, what field is this? Oakland Coliseum. Jeffrey Leonard, Mike Wilt, Rick Sutcliffe, and a nice, very, very off-centered Wade Boggs. I haven't seen these cards in a while. Thanks a lot, Goomba. Thank you for everyone that wished me congrats on 2,000 subs. Much appreciated. My brother was definitely played a huge role in that. That would be awesome to get to 3,000 next month. It's definitely a goal. There's a Mike Trout. I actually picked this one out of a box uh, not too long ago. I don't buy these too uh, often, but uh, uh, that's a nice one. Royals. I only really know a lot of new players. I watch pretty much all my brother's videos, so I know who's really good and who's not for the most part, as far as baseball cards go. Um, All-Star game card. Everyone new to the chat, thank you for tuning in. We're gonna do the giveaway here pretty soon after we open another one of these boxes. And there's a Dale Norris card. I have to give that to my brother, he probably has like 50 of it. Another Mike Trout. So we got two Mike Trouts in this box? So they're all going every which way. Mariano Rivera, that's a nice one. Very nice card. I'm still looking to pick up his rookie card. How fast I get to 2,000 subs? I started my channel, I think, in uh, 
mid or early December. So it was pretty quick. I could not believe it. Roy Halladay. That's a nice one. Fernando Valenzuela. And we got a bunch of junk wax cards here at the end. I don't know if, if Eric is doing a, a video now or not. I don't think so. Thanks a lot, Jay. I appreciate the sub. Oh, there's a Jose Uribe in here. Hey, there, speak, speaking to Eric, there he is right there. What's up, Eric? Jose Uribe, why couldn't that be a 90 Fleer? The craze for that card kind of died out, even though I still see people selling it on random apps for $1,000. Chuck Knobloch, a Jimmy Dean card. Used to like him when he first came on the scene in 1990. Steve Sachs. Yeah, two Mike Trout cards in this box. Pretty cool. Too bad it wasn't his uh, update rookie card. That would have been nice. Really doubt that I ever pulled one of those. Uh, she's this Outlighter rookie card. Yes, it is. This is pretty awesome. I did not have this card. Outlighter 88 Fleer uh, update rookie card. I don't think I've ever even seen that card. Pretty stoked about that box now. Add that to my rookie card collection. So that's it for box number one. So we got we pulled two trouts out of there, and that awesome outlighter rookie card. Pretty stoked about that. Um, let's uh, let's change it up here. We'll do move a little closer. We'll do um, one of these Walgreens run ones. We see we got Mike Trout jump in there, snag a fly ball. So like he's robbing someone of a homer. I saw someone pull that card too recently. I feel like there's a lot of those in there. There is the trout. Um, 2016 tops. Yeah, it's a nice card. Looks like we got a pack of opening day in there. Saw that real quick. Miggy Cabrera. That's a nice one. I don't have too many of his cards. Jose Bautista, Manny Machado, Dallas Keuchel. There's some pretty good uh, stars in here. Nelly Cruz, JD Martinez. There's an Altuve. These are this is a pretty good box so far. Francisco Lindor, Carlos Correa, David Ortiz. Wow, this is stacked. Very nice. This this box is from Walgreens. Picked it up uh, the other day. Gary Sheffield, uh, second year card. 1990 Don Russ. His rookie was 89, Don Russ. And these are going every single which way again. There's a nice Dale Murphy Sport Flicks card. What year is this? 1987 Sport Flicks. There's a lot of Dale Murphy fans out there. It's pretty awesome. Hey, Jeff. These are $5 a box. Um, you can pick them up at uh, Rite Aid, Walgreens. Um, some other stores also carry them as well. It's a nice Francisco Cordova. Greg Vaughn, Home Run Heroes. Pros Beltron. At yeah, the beginning of this box, it was definitely stacked. Those newer Topps cards. Yeah, check your Walgreens. Uh, they usually put two out at a time. Went there um, the other day and just picked up two of them. Same with right hand. I feel like they always put two out at a time. Delano De Shields rookie card. If it was 1990 right now, I'd be flipping out. I do not have any David Ortiz rookie cards. I wish I did. I did talk to somebody recently that said they were going to send me uh, his 97 um, Ultra card, which I was pretty pumped about because I uh, never owned that card. always wanted it. Jay Buhner. What kind of camera I'm using? I just use um, a regular iPhone. It's kind of old school though. It's an iPhone 6S. Looks so like we got opening day 2018 pack in this one. That's nice. Looks so like we have a Reese Hoskins coming up too. That'd be nice if that was a hit. So Mark Grace, League Standouts insert card from 1990 Fleer. Matthew, uh, probably not vinyls. I don't own any. I always wanted to get to uh, have a nice vinyl collection. Reese Hoskins, that's a nice one. There's an error card in there somewhere. Bipolar Brian says, I have to go back and check that out. Javier Baez, Aaron Sanchez League Leaders card. Thank you to everyone who wished me congr or congratulations on 2000 subs. Couldn't have done without, without all you guys. You under Alonso. 
appreciate you tuning in tonight. We're going to finish off this box, and then we're going to do the uh, the giveaway here. There's a nice Jim Tomey card. And a Bartolo Colon 2000 Bowman. I've never seen these before. Is this an insert or is this regular design? Huh. Interesting. Hey, Jerry's baseball cards. Welcome to everyone that just joined. One little stack left, and uh, we will uh, see who the lucky winner is. Outer Bell. This is a Tombstone Pizza card. I was just talking about Tombstone the other day. I was asking somebody if they still made Tombstone Pizza. Look, like I haven't had one in a real long time. Eighty-four Don Russ. I still need to get the Don Russ um, Mattingly and Joe Carter rookies. I don't have those ones. I picked up the Daryl Strawberry not too long ago. So Tim Salmon uh, is ninety-four per deck. Always like Tim Salmon or Hershiser. A lot of junk wax cards in the end of here. Fernando Vina. There's a Tom Seaver. Speaking of Tom Seaver, we're actually giving away uh, a plate. Of him tonight, Clint Frazier. That's a nice one. And a Cowerkin Jr., a 1991 home run derby champ. That's pretty nice. Never seen that one before. Looks like the 2017 tops. And a Louis Severino. So not too bad in those. Thank you very much, guys, for congratulating me. And now uh, the moment everyone's been waiting for. We'll save these for afterwards. Actually, you know what? We'll crack this pack real quick, too. I kind of forgot about it. Put it off this side. Yeah, these Fairfield boxes are pretty nice. A U Darvish in the back of here. Jose Altuve. I think I got that one uh, earlier in the box I just opened. Edwin Encarnacion. Noah Syndergaard. And the U Darvish. Not too bad of a pack. Put those aside. And now... Well, everyone's waiting for the giveaway to win this Tom Seaver commemorative plate or the awesome Muddy Max Shrunken Heads on the card there. Both about a $30 value. Let me get my um, my computer set up here on the side. You guys can check out the Pool Speed Ahead Ghost while I'm pulling this up here. I'm going to do it live so you can see it. There'll be no cheating here. And I'm also going to do, um, I'm going to raffle, I'm going to pull two people. Because the last few giveaways I did, I had a bunch of people that didn't claim uh, their prizes. So, it didn't end up going to anybody. So, let's get this set up over here, where you all can see it. Alright, so we have a comment picker right here. So, there's going to be the first place one, we're drawing them first, and then the, the, we'll, we'll draw one right after that, in case the first place person doesn't come through to claim their prize. But, just so you guys see what I'm doing here, this is the video... Um, where we, we initiated the raffle, you had to go in here and comment, an actual uh, legit comment on this video. So I'm going to copy this link here, and then I'm going to close that out, and I'm going to go onto this site. There, as you can see, it's on there now. And filter duplicate users, you're allowed to comment as much as you like, so we're going to uncheck that. Pull speed ahead ghost was not entered in the giveaway. He's probably pretty mad about that. Okay, so let's see what we got here. 114 unique comments and you guys ready for this? Let's see who the winner of either one of these things is Who is it gonna be? Jeremy Lay his comment was as always a quality video you're caught on this YouTube thing pretty quickly I'm sure Eric was a great teacher pun intended Jeremy Lay congratulations You want to do the Tom Seaver plate or the Mighty Max Strong and Heads so to claim your prize after this video is over Comment down below with your email address, and I'll send you an email and get your information. But the backup winner, we'll do this again. Pick another winner here. Just in case Jeremy Lay does not claim this prize or watch this video, I'll give you 24 hours to claim the prize. Jehovah Witness ripped me off. His comment was, thank you for the videos. I am learning what to hunt. So congratulations, Jehovah Witness. You have the backup claim there on this prize. So that's said and done. Jeremy, if you do not comment on the video down below within 24 hours, then they will go, either one of those will go to Jehovah Witness. So congrats to either one of you, whoever gets it. But that's all said and done. Thank you guys for all the support. 
Let's continue to rip these open. Which one do you guys think next? We got a Walgreens one and we have a Rite Aid one. What do you think? I think that was kind of, I think, I think the Walgreens one was a little better luck. Let's do the right one. First comment, we'll do the right. And Edward also says right. Any of you guys didn't check it out, Edward sent me an awesome package on Friday for Fan Mail Friday. Bunch of rookie cards in there I did not have. Well, thank you again for that. And I'm going to be sending more fan mail out uh, later this week. Wanted to send some out today, but post office closed for President's Day. So right off the bat, we have a Yadier Molina. Forgive me if I skip anybody, any superstars here. Matt Holiday, Trevor Rosenthal, Matt Carpenter. I don't recognize a lot of these names. Adam Wainwright, I believe that... Uh, Edward just sent me his rookie card on uh, on Friday, too. Pretty awesome. Didn't have that one either. So we have an all-star card here. Tons of Cardinals in here. That's a nice one. Oh, this is a real nice one coming up here. Mike Piazza and Ken Griffey Jr. Interleague Preview. This is what, 2,000 tops? It's either 99 or 2,000, I believe. Remember, these ones are always stuck together real bad. Brett Butler, five tops. There's a Raphael Palmero, 2,000 tops. That was Tony Wynn for a second. Yeah, this is the David, uh, the David Arias Ortiz that I need is a 97 Ultra. Need to pick that one up. I don't really ever see it at card shows or anything. Alan Trammell, Hall of Famer, and my personal favorite when I was a little kid, Jose Lind. Pretty much have every single one of his cards when I was a little kid. Anybody new to the chat? Welcome. We just finished up with the giveaway. I didn't see Jer. I don't think Jeremy's in the live stream right now. George Bell I used to like that card a lot when I was younger. And a random checklist. Hey Joe, Mookie Betts rookie. I do not. Eric does have it though. I know Eric probably has a. Two of those, maybe? I think he pulled some out of a Fairfield box before. I think. Uh, Kevin Moss, once again. If it was 1990, I'd be flipping out like a teenage girl right now if I pulled that card. So another pack opening day. Uh, yeah, 2018 opening day. A Cody Bellinger, which I pulled this one out of one not too long ago. And some newer tops. Newer to me, at least. Zach Wheeler. Hopefully I'm not going through these too fast for you guys. And we have a $2 super chat there from Dave Durango. Thank you very much, Dave. I appreciate that. Dave has a channel um, that's pretty awesome. He sent me some stuff for Fan Mail Friday. I know he just did a video about old VHS tapes. Um, I have yet to watch it. I just saw that it was uploaded right Durham. Um, cool guy and cool videos. If you like vintage stuff, definitely check him out. I know he's got a lot of comics as well. Wade Boggs, 94 SP. He used to really like this set. Thanks again, Dave. Appreciate the super chats. Anybody that uh, donates to me, I put right back into the channel. Usually buying cards or, or toys, whatever else. Reggie Jefferson, Ruben Sierra. And a minor league card here of a no-name. Hey, Dave, we're breaking... Um, we decided to break four different Fairfield boxes. We did the uh, 2,000 subscriber giveaway earlier, actually a few minutes ago. And uh, announced the lucky winner for that, or I mean, I, I should say raffled it, or, it was through random uh, YouTube comment generator, Carl Roberts. Is that a minor league card? Yeah, it definitely is. So I gave everyone a, the choice of voting for 88 Fleer break or... Fairfield boxes, and they chose Fairfield boxes um, by a, a huge margin, so I had a few laying around, so I decided to rip them open. Tom Glavin, a 91 upper deck, and nice Adrian Beltry card, a stadium club. It's uh, 2018. That's nice. Don't have any 2018 stadium clubs. And, yeah, honestly, Dave, if I could just put them in the right freaking way. Rip this pack of opening day 2018 open here. Yasel Puig. I'm stuck to something else. 
Austin Hayes. Ozzy Albee's rookie. Whoa, that is awesome. I don't have any of his cards at all. And Steven Strasburg. That is really cool. I've never seen that card in person. Sure, it doesn't have much value to it, but uh, I always hear Ozzy Albee's being talked about on Eric's videos, so pretty awesome. And the last box here is from Rite Aid. Another Fairfield box. These are $5. Once again, I'm plug my phone in here real quick so it doesn't die on all of us. Yeah, pretty stoked to get that Aussie Albies. That was nice. Um, looks like uh, McGuire, Allen, and Ginter cards in the front here. Yeah, I can't believe I haven't got a hit yet. The last, uh, I think the last two Fairfield boxes I got, I got hits out of both of them. The last one was an autograph. One before that, I want to say it was a bat relic. Just ruin all the corners of that McGuire. So there's a Mark McGuire, Allen, and Ginter card. Pretty nice. Always like McGuire back in the day. And let's just start right in the middle since they're already all going every which way anyways. So Charlie Huff, 83 tops. He looks like he's like 70 in that that year too. The guy never never aged. He just primarily looked like he was like 80 years old. Brett Saberhagen. The Fairfield's in your house for search. Looks terrible. Yeah, one of the tabs on the top of the box looked like it was... Uh, Kind of tampered with a little bit. Another Chuck Knobloch, another Alan Trammell. Craig Biggio, rookie? I don't think so. I'm usually pretty tuned into like older junk wax rookies. Maybe I was, maybe because I was gabbing too much. Uh, I've never seen this card before. It's kind of cool. I'm not even sure what year that is. 2003, maybe? Harold Baines. I always end up throwing Harold Baines and Alan Trammell in my commons box. Never really cared for either one of them. Not a whole lot of hype for those guys. Cole Hamels. And some newer tops. Hopefully there's somebody good in here. Maybe another Trout. Maybe a Bryce Harper. You guys see these cards all right? I feel like I'm kind of getting off camera there. Chet Bettis. Carlos Beltran again. And another all-star card with Miggy Cabrera. Uh, who is, is that Josh Hamilton? Yeah, Josh Hamilton and uh, Curtis Granderson. He found a 93 Jeter and a 2012 Bowman Cespedes. That's some pretty good luck. Another one of those pop-up packs. They love giving you those. There's no value to those at all. And a Will Clark serial card. What year is this? It looks really old. 1990. <laughs> I just destroyed a <laughs> Chet Bettis. Dale Murphy. Always like Dale Murphy. 88 Don Russ. 87 Tops card there. There's an old Yankees team card. Tim Hudson. A solid pitcher. It's a Jim Rice, 87 Don. Is that 87 Don Ross? No, it's 86. My whole cut here. And more junk wax. John Crook. I actually pulled his rookie card out of one of these recently, 86 Flutter Update. Another Jose Uribe. I wonder if they're putting these in on purpose to like get people excited. I wouldn't doubt it because of the massive Uribe craze. That was a Bobby Bow for a second there. An old checklist, 82 tops. Hey, Brendan. And some more junk. We have one little stack left. That's it. And at least there's some newer cards in here. Clayton Kershaw All-Star card, Felix Hernandez. And some other guys I haven't really heard of. Is that Alfonso Soriano? 84 checklist. I don't really see too many old checklist cards. Those are kind of cool. Not that I was really ever a checklist fan, but... I like stuff like that I don't see too often. 
kind of like this Jimmy Barron. Never even really heard of him. I remember that card from back in 93 when I used to buy those cards all the time. Another Jim Rice card. Yeah, fake out your eBay or The David Price. Uh, you know what? I forget what that was. 2016 maybe. Jim Rice again. And I thought that was Kevin Brown for a second. Wish that could have been Frank Thomas. What a nice. Another Alfonso Soriano. Our oldest Chapman. That's not his rookie, is it? I don't think it is. 2013. And it looks like we have one lonely pack of cards left. And these are the good old 88 Don Russ pop ups. Tom Hanky on the back. And the Stan Musial puzzle. The same exact pieces that I got the last pack. It's a nice Aussie Smith. These are pretty cool. Any of you haven't seen these, you fold them up and they pop up. Pretty cool. I'm not going to do it now. I'll spare you guys that. It's a nice Calvin Jr. And that's the highlight of the pack. At least it's centered, unlike the last uh, Wade Boggs. I don't even know if these are actually really listed in any Beckett's or not. Maybe they're in the Almanac. What do you guys want to do? You, I mean, do you want guys want to end it there? You want me to rip some more packs? Because I have some more stuff for you. I've got tons more wax boxes. Um, you can do that if you like. Or call it quits and call it night and uh, see each other again some other day. What do you guys want to rip? Because I have a bunch of crap laying around here. Want to see more packs? All right, I'll take you through my sloppy office here. We got an Ecto-1 garage, or actually a graveyard right here. And we got some 91 Bowman rack packs and a bunch of older wax boxes down here I keep for a rainy day. Uh, 90 Don Ross with 92 Leaf, um, a box of OPG, 97 Collector's Choice, um, some Troll Play, and Stadium Club and Studio as well. Upper Deck. The only Upper Deck I have is just the... Uh, Collector's Choice cards. Why don't we do some Leaf? You guys want to see Leaf? Ah. Just bought these recently. Uh, yeah, these need some repair. Got some work to do. I think only one of them is complete, but you can see the ones missing the door. Also got a bunch of Turtles vans laying around too, somewhere in, in this room. So I'll do this Leaf. Here is like Jeff Kent or Jeff Kent black gold. I don't think leaf does stick together. Might as well rip these. I'm having a good time talking to you guys in general. I like doing live streams. I don't do it very often, so might as well. These are very shiny. Got to do the uh, ritual here. Have to if I can get it going. That's good enough. Thank you to everyone watching me. Congratulations on 2,000 subs. Like I said before, couldn't have done it without all of you. Let's uh, pull from the middle here. I think the best insert in these uh, is like Leaf Gold Rookies. Move this back some so you guys can see. There's a 24 karat gold packs here. I paid a couple of grand for these. No, I'm just kidding. I paid $5 for this box recently at a card shop. All right. Looks like we got a Linda Merced Black Gold card of the bat. Yeah, best rookie is Jeff Kent. Eric Karras, second year card. And we got a $2.99 donation here from Rock Filippowitz. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Rock. I'm a big fan of uh, Rock and his kindness. He sent me some cards um, that I opened on Friday. I'm going to be sending a package out to you here, Rock, uh, in the next couple days. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of good rookies in here, but the Leaf Code rookies, um, I thought Piazza was in these, but uh, turns out he's not. You can pull like a Pedro J. Um, I think this is the best card. I actually have it sitting on the side, two of them here. This is probably the best card that you could pull um, out of uh, out of these these packs, more than likely. The Pedro J uh, Gold Leaf rookies. It's his second year card. 97 Collector's Choice. Uh, not too many, honestly. So you're going to be seeing a lot of junky cards here. The Craig Biggio. It's a cool card. Gary Carter. Deion Sanders. Still like Deion Sanders a lot. 
accumulated so many comments from uh, opening these uh, all these old boxes up. With Kevin Moss in the back here. I skipped Jeff Kent. Really? Did I? I don't think so. I will not like myself if I did. Jeff Tackett. Did not, uh, yeah, no Jeff Kent. Yeah, Dion was the man. There's a nice Greg Maddox card. Marquise Grissom. Oh, it's all good, JBs. No worries at all. I was hoping that I would get a Jeff Kent. Consider a success if I do pull a Jeff Kent out of here. Um, I want to start opening different packs too uh, for you guys. Um, like non sports cards. I'd like to get like some more Ghostbusters cards and like stuff like that. Gargoyles. Indiana Jones. They're kind of expensive though. You'd be surprised how much uh, those go for. Looks like we have a $5 donation from Jehovah Witness. Rip me off. Thank you for the content. Way better than any TV show. I couldn't see the rest of it there. Let me see here. Thank you so much, Jehovah Witness. Rip me off. I don't know if you have a YouTube channel or not, but uh, if you do, I advise everyone to please go and sub to Jehovah Witness. Rip me off. It's very courteous of you. And now we have a $10 one from Bill Seitz. Thank you so much, Bill. I really appreciate it. How are you doing tonight? Sammy Sosa black gold card. That is freaking awesome. Don't have that one. Nothing crazy, but uh, I'll take it. So a couple big, uh, big super chat donations there. Really appreciate it, Bill. I'm not sure if you have a, a channel either or not, but um, definitely click on uh, your name there and check it out. Give you a sub. You guys don't have to give me anything. I made this video to give you guys something for my appreciation. Oh, I really appreciate that, Jehovah. If uh, Jeremy does not claim that uh, either one of those is prize in 24 hours, then it looks like you got yourself a nice Tom Seaver plate or Muddy Max. Whichever one you want. There's another Greg Max. And we have a $2 donation from Rock again. Thank you so much, Rock. Much appreciated. Oh, you guys are being uh, very, very generous tonight. You guys do not have to do that at all. It's an hour bell card. Thanks so much. I'm, I'm glad you appreciate the videos and the content that I provide. Um, I really enjoy making them. Wish I would have started making them years ago because I've been uh, doing flea markets and buying toys for, I don't know, probably close to 10 years now. So, But, oh well. Really have fun making them. So, um, Pull Tina Martinez. I didn't see a Tina Martinez. There's a Joey Bell. It's not his rookie card. It's a few years after his rookie. Sheffield. It's a John Crook. A two John Crooks in a pack. Almost back to back. It's pretty crazy. Looks like he's punching this guy in the back. <laughs> Dude, it's how much they flying off. Now is the time for videos. You're right, Rock. Probably a lot better now because uh, I don't think anyone wouldn't have watched my videos five years ago or whatever with a flip phone. Be watching my videos in 240p. <laughs> I don't think anyone would, would want to see that. It'd be pretty awful. So a bunch of comments and Brady Anderson looking into the sky there. One's being a pain. Get no school the rest of the week, JB? That's pretty crazy. I wish I didn't have to go to work the rest of the week. NVSU right now. You guys see the cards all right? Let me adjust this here. What is this? A leaf gold set uh, black gold card? <laughs> you always use flip phone. Oh, I'm just saying, if I was making YouTube videos and I'm there would be, I don't know if there'd be too many people watching them. I guess this is pretty neat. It's not numbered or anything. I think I saw one of these in an earlier pack, but uh, 
it's a pretty cool backstory here for Leaf. If he issued the first color set of baseball cards since World War II, complete set of 48, 49 cards, currently valued $28,000. It's pretty cool. Never seen that one. Must not be any like Griffey's or uh, Frank Thomas or anything in Series 2. Must just be strictly Jeff Kent holding it down. Yeah, I'd like to open some more non-sports cards. I'm looking into that. I didn't make a whole lot of good ones, though. Pat Listash. Remember, he was a big craze uh, back around then. Okay, we got a $10 super chat here from Bane's World. Five for Bane and five for me. Thank you for your shout-outs and support. Wow, thank you so much, Edward. I really appreciate that, man. You did not have to give me uh, anything at all whatsoever. Your fan mail Friday last week was far generous enough. And I'll be sending you something out, too. I'll send something for Bane, too. Uh, does Bane like action figures and stuff like that? I don't know if I've ever heard you say he does or not. I'll try to hook both of you guys up since you hooked me up. And uh, Edward also has a really cool YouTube channel, too, called Bane's World. If you want to scroll back and give him a sub. Really cool dude. He does a lot of older vintage cards as well. Here's Randy Johnson. Omar Vizquel. I missed that. Ninja Turtle fan, huh? I may have just a thing for him. I'll check it out. I'm trying to read through his comments while I'm going through these crappy cards. Marvel cards? That's not a bad idea, Dave. Might be a lot of people that are into that. Hey, Hunter. Yeah, there's some Batman cards I like to open, too. Especially Batman the Animated Series. I was a huge fan of that show. I still am. Also, they made Batman Returns cards. Indiana Jones would be pretty cool. Gargoyles would be awesome. Um, I was looking at a box of Skeleton Warriors cards the other day. I think you guys remember that show from the early 90s. Garbage Pail Kids would be sick. They just re-released them. I like to rip a box of the old ones, but it probably cost me 200 bucks to buy them. There's a nice Barry Bonds. Thank you, Joe, for subbing Bane. He's got an awesome channel. You guys definitely should check him out. Barry Bonds. That's probably the second best card in the series. Is that John Crunk again? Let me plug my phone in again. I don't know what happened, but I feel like we're getting close to dying out here. Now we're good. Adam West Batman. Yeah, that was a little before my time too, but uh, I definitely watched reruns of the show and enjoyed it when I was younger. Thank you to anybody at Sub Bane's World. Uh, you would not be disappointed. He's a really cool guy, and he does put out very good videos. I've not had a chance to watch uh, his recent one, but I, no doubt I will here soon. Rivera was not in 92 Leaf. Jeff King? Why couldn't you have been Jeff Kent? There's a Griffey. Nice. Nice. That is awesome. Hey, we got a two-hour super chat here from Dave Durango. Thank you again, Dave. That's very, very generous of you. Holy Grail Ghostbusters toys. Oh, geez. Um, there's quite a few that I need out there. I have a ton. I'm actually trying to do my Ghostbusters wall in here right now. But uh, there's a couple uh, prototypes that I'd like to get my hands on. For instance, there's one called Egon's Lab, if you guys are interested. Google, Google Egon's Lab. Um, only a couple are made prototypes. I think the last one that sold probably sold like 10 or so years ago on eBay. It was a few thousand dollars. So hopefully my collecting will lead me to that one day. Ohio is actually a huge uh, mecca for older um, older toys. Kenner was based out of Ohio. Um, and they produced all the Ghostbusters toys from the 80s and early 90s. And also tons of other toy lines. Jurassic Park and all, uh, all the other good movie-based uh, movie toy lines and whatnot. Eric's video tonight, I honestly could not tell you. I was talking to him earlier, but I'm not sure uh, Not sure what video he's doing tonight. Goonies toys? I have never seen any Goonies toys at all. Yeah, Ohio always has... Uh, they have good card shows out there. They have good uh, toy shows. Not a Sosa. Wade Boggs. Randy Velarde. That's a pretty crappy black gold card there. Jeff Kent, I believe, is in his Mets uniform. In here. There's a Frank Thomas. So I think we pulled the best uh, cards we could pull out of here. I do have the old uh, 
proton pack and ghost trap. Um, the ghost trap that I have is brand new in the box. It's sealed. It's like pristine, like uh, it's never been touched pretty much. I paid $70 for it on eBay years ago. It sells for like, I don't know, a couple hundred now. The proton pack I have is new in, the, new in open box. I need to get a sealed one eventually at some point. But uh, I hope to do a video here pretty soon showcasing a lot of my Ghostbuster stuff. Just, I don't even know where to begin. There's so much of it. Like uh, a lot of it's still overtaking my, my old room, my parents' house. A ton of it. The proton pack, the shoot stuff, there's a ghost popper, uh, was the one that shot, um, like the yellow foam pieces. And there's a ghost zapper that like projected, uh, an image on the wall. The original proton pack from, uh, Kenner just had the, ye the yellow foam that stuck out of it. There's another Leaf Gold Rookies, but it's, uh, some guy I've never really heard of, Ed Martell. The light projector, that thing was sweet. I had one. I sold it not too long ago because mine was uh, open. It wasn't that great. See you, JB. Thank you for tuning in. The ghost trap was sick. I'd like to get one used out of the box so I can play with it. Um, there's a few other things I need to get to as far as accessories like that go. Looks like a repeat pack. Eddie Murray. The flashlight for the Ghostbusters. Um, which one are you referring to as far as that goes, Bane? Barry Bonds. Again, can't go wrong pulling Barry Bonds cards. Stratego. I uh, I came across one, actually a couple the other day, uh, the game. And they made different ones for different decades, I guess. But I filmed it in a video. I think I definitely mentioned you in one of them. Maybe I never put that one online. I filmed a bunch of videos that I'd never... Uh, Never uploaded. I should probably start doing that again. Brave Star? Yeah, I'm a Brave Star fan. Need to get more Brave Star toys. The most valuable card I own is probably uh, Nolan Ryan 68 Tops rookie card. Here's another Frank Thomas. It had a ghost in it. Um, was it the Ghost Sapper? That's probably what it was. They had like it had a cartridge and like a reel that uh, you would uh, click and it would spin around and project them on the wall. I missed your comment there, Dave. Oh yeah, tombstone tackle <laughs> sticking in his in his ear while he's driving. <laughs> That's funny. I love tombstone tackle. I actually have him sitting around here somewhere. Did a video on uh, on all those not too long ago. Backpack zapper, yeah, I, I do have that in the box. I need to show that. I also, the firehouse too in the box. I got a few years ago. Ernie Banks rookie card. It's a nice one. Yeah, the foam piece is always bent up or like I don't know, the dog chewed on it or whatever else. See a lot of my action figures. I, I still need to get over to my parents' house and do that. Um, I'm, I'm so tired of opening these packs like that. Just simplify things, I guess. Fingers are starting to hurt. I need to do that the, uh, the attic video and go and check out my old toys. I should do a live stream of that. That'd be pretty sick because I haven't looked up there in a long time. There it is. There's the Jeff Kent rookie card. And I was wrong. He's actually in his Blue Jays uniform there. So that's pretty awesome. That is the best card we can really pull out of here. Put that to the side. I already have it, but you know, any Jeff Kent fans out there, maybe uh, I'll send it to you for in fan mail. Matt Williams black gold card. That's a nice one. A lot of Matt Williams fans out there. There's a nice Conseco. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Practically doing a split there. Big lead off, I guess. Incredible CJ collectibles. That's terrible, man. My mom tossed a bunch of mine. Um, she kept most of my action figures, but she tossed a lot of my board games. Like Forbidden Bridge is a pretty expensive one. Usually sell for like hundred bucks nowadays. That got tossed or donated to Goodwill. I'm like, mom, you you crazy? Are you kidding me? Like, that sucks so bad. Like that <laughs> that game's worth hundred bucks now. I could have sold it and bought bought toys with it now. But oh well, she didn't know any better than either did I. That was a long time ago. Ozzy Smith. It's a nice one. 
Uh, Dave, I did see that. That's absolutely nuts, and I uh, don't believe that. I was the highest bidder on that Hills, that Hills display. Uh, it was like $110, and like the last, I don't know, 30 seconds or whatever, it somehow went from $110 to $2,500. There's some crazy uh, Ghostbusters fans out there, man, like for the old stuff. The stuff I collect is all the real Ghostbusters stuff the, the from the cartoon in the 80s, and uh, it's insane, man, how much some of the stuff goes for. Most I paid for um for figures or any toys was nine hundred dollars for the original four real Ghostbusters, and they were brand new in the card and they were unpunched as well in acrylic cases. They originally twelve hundred and I I did a best offer and the guy accepted it within a few minutes and uh, I made out those for nine hundred bucks. That was the entire reason I got into collecting toys again was to buy those those uh, four figures because they were my favorite when I was younger. Just take him to church all the time. The pastor would be all pissed off. He'd be sitting there playing with Ghostbusters toys. My parents weren't too happy with me either back then, but that was my thing. And uh, really happy I rediscovered it several years ago. And then, um, yeah, I was just into it big time. That was a nice Jose Canseco um, black gold card. Yeah, the pastor was not happy with me at all. There's a nice Ron Sandberg and Wade Boggs. I remember one specific instance. I think I was like four years old. It was probably 1988. And um, for whatever reason, the pastor is sitting there and he's like, I don't know if he's doing a poll or whatever he was, but he's like, who's more powerful than God? And I guess I stood up or just yelled Ghostbusters. And I think my parents wanted to kill me that day. <laughs> but I'll never forget that, that memory. It was like proud achievement right there. Ozzy Smith. John Wetland. Pretty big scumbag there. Throw his card in the trash. We're um, getting down to the bottom here. We still got quite a few left. Not too many. Got crap everywhere now. Yeah, so I've always been a diehard uh, Ghostbusters fan. As small as mine. Number one. $30,000, man. That's crazy. So many people are just insane with what they ask for uh, vintage stuff. I don't understand it. Like, especially that Mercari app. If you guys ever check that out, like, the, some of the baseball cards on there and toys are just like, what are you doing? Another Frank Thomas. You, you, you're like, did you guys even, like, I don't know, look on eBay and sold listings for anything? I feel like you have the occasional people on eBay that, like, Find something random, look it up on eBay, and just regular listings, and you know you can see a Jose Uribe on there for almost a million dollars, and someone sees that and like, wow, I just bought this card. This is crazy. Put it on an app for uh, twenty grand. Ninety three Bowman box was a tough break. I hope to do another one sometime soon. Like I said, I I, I got a good deal in that box. So, Randy Johnson and Bobby Bo. Especially that antique store that Eric and I went to and uh, recently, like that guy was nuts. People were just crazy. I guess just collecting toys over the years. It's like I can't believe how much uh, some of them have increased in value. Just the market for them in general is like, nuts. Which I would have bought a lot more when I was younger. In the last few years before they spiked. So still no uh, good gold leaf rookies. We've got some crappy uh, rookie busts. There's a Greg Maddox again. A lot of repeats in these cards. All about fun though, and I enjoy talking to you guys. So really can't open my old toys and talk to you guys. Don't want to do that. It's kind of productive to my entire hobby. So what better to open than old junk wax that we all grew up with. There's a Tina Martinez that people were talking about earlier. And uh, anybody joining in that's new to the chat, we did do the giveaway earlier. We picked two people. We have a backup uh, prize winner there in case the initial prize winner does not win. So to the winners, the both of you, comment down below your email address. And I will contact you um, pretty soon. Like I said, you got 24 hours to claim your prize. I think that's plenty of time. Just because last time... Um, Nobody claimed several prizes. This is a pretty good pack. Fred McGriff, Jose Canseco, and Greg Maddox. And Ozzy Smith. Whoa, and Sosa. <laughs> it's a junk wax pack of the year. And Glavin. Pretty nice. 
Uh, our weather is pretty cold again, and it's going to be in like the 50s next week or something like that. Yeah, Salvation Army always sucks for me now. It's terrible. Uh, there's so many people out there that are just going around and, I don't know, people watch these freaking Storage Wars shows and like pickers and everything else and just go out into the world and freaking try to buy everything. It's so annoying. Like, I can't stand going into a thrift store and there's like 20 people in there with their phones out looking up. Like, I was at, I was at some place in uh, Penn Hills today, which is kind of outside Pittsburgh. is an hour bill. And, um... There's some dude in there that was like probably 50 years old. And of course, I was in looking for Ghostbusters stuff. I was trying to find that freaking power cycle that I can't find. Hoping that I'll find that in a Salvation Army someday. Of course, I didn't find it. But some dude standing there look, with his phone in his hand looking up some freaking like old dirty doll. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing, man? I know exactly what you're doing. That doll is not worth anything, man. There's like f feces on it. And you're sitting there trying to see how much money you can get for it. Eddie Murray. Another one. Uh, I missed a bunch of comments. Ghostbusters on PSP. I did not have a PSP. Ozzy Smith. Uh, yeah, I would def Danny Boyle would definitely uh, take the Ghostbusters movie in the PSP. Um, I can't really watch it, but uh, I collect all things Ghostbusters minus um, the 2016 movie. Spun off a lot of garbage that I do not want to see or be associated with. I do not like the 2016 movie. I'll never accept that as part of the franchise. Uh, most people won't do it. So, strictly only uh, Matt Williams uh, vintage Ghostbusters stuff or newer stuff pertaining to the original movie or cartoon. No uh, female stuff. Like You can definitely tell a difference too because all the 2016 reboot stuff had like green slime around things. Some of it I buy, depending on what it is. My biggest... Um, excitement out of new Ghostbusters movies is all the merchandise that comes out like I made mean, like freaking Rice Krispie treats with Stay Puft Marshmallow Man on the front of the box and stuff I have a bunch of those Twinkies came out and were released so Ecto Cooler came back I think I have like 70 cans of Ecto Cooler and like 30 10 packs or 12 packs of that um all my parents house just saving for any day all expired Ecto Cooler was pretty awesome in the 80s. I used to love it. Um, nowadays, if you have an empty Ecto Cooler can from like in 1988, you can sell it for two, three hundred dollars on eBay. It's absolutely nuts. This is our very last pack here. Our Greg Vaughn card and. That is it. That is it for the 92 Leaf. Um, big stack of cards here. Uh, these are just going to get thrown into a box randomly. So um, that's it for today's video. Uh, I saw somebody ask me about an email. I did get your email, Danny. I saw it earlier. I'll be giving you a sending response here soon. Um, thank you guys all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, I will leave you with this awesome awesome pull speed ahead plug here this is one of my favorite toys when i was younger um basically you crank them up and you shoot sparks out very dangerous toy for little kids something like that would not exist nowadays but uh this one's kind of beat up this is probably one of the first pieces i bought uh when i first started collecting again nowadays he goes for probably i don't know 60 70 bucks maybe a little more if it's in uh, good condition love that toy got to hang him back up on the wall though I'm trying to do a ghostbusters wall and Get everything in order here, so hopefully I have more toy videos for you here pretty soon. Um, let me know in the comments what toy lines you'd like to see. I don't have a ton of them, but I have several. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do the uh, Real Ghostbusters um, series here of all my different toys um, from the show. And cover those. So let me know below. And also to the giveaway winners, thank you very much for entering into the giveaway. And also everybody else who entered as well. And I appreciate everyone's uh, support of my channel. Thank you so much for getting me to 2,000. Um, I have much more content for you guys and appreciate every single 